what's up guys i hope you enjoyed the courses so far and last lesson we learned how to use brush and how to use mask in order to make our adjustment layers appear only on some parts of the image now we're gonna learn how to delete some part of the image or how to cut it so what we need to do now is we need to press here so with our image selected we press here and now we can see a white mask appear on our image layer now we have to choose brush we have to make sure we choose black color so we just press here and change this black with white okay we have to make sure opacity flow is 100 percent and if everything is good then we can start so now with our mask selected we can start drawing and as you can see when i start drawing what happens we don't see the image where i draw with black so as you can see here i have black color and we don't see the image on this place so it's actually empty this squares means the place is empty why does this happen because as i said black color hides hides layer white shows the layer so because it's because here is black we don't see the part of the layer where it's black so if i continue drawing as you can see we don't see the image anymore if i change my color to white let's press here and change it to white i can start drawing with white and as you can see when i draw with white i can see my image back again and this is actually very and very important because this is very important when we want to mix two three or more images for example let's say i put here another image let's just take anything and put here <clears throat> and now let's just press ok for now and as you can see here we have two images and i want this image to be here so we can see only the goal now and let's select the mask again okay this is very important we can select the image and we can select the mask separate, separately if we select the image and i take out my brush as you can see we can't draw right now but if we select the mask we see the brush side and we can draw for example let's say if i choose the black color again and i start drawing what happens we see the layer that is located behind our image so as you can see we see this one because this part of our image is actually empty that's why we see the other layer and if i continue drawing it's going like this so if i take white color and i start drawing as you can see we see our image again this is very important because you probably often see different images that don't look realistic or they look like they are photoshop for example uh, yeah, they take a person and put it and put him in a different place or uh, you know they combine some unrealistic things together this is all done with masks for example you cut out the girl and put a different behind scene okay this looks horrible right now i know that i i, I just showed it to you to you you know in order to show how this works and now we can take this mask and we can build it as well okay now create let's create a new mask for example i choose my image and i press on mask again now let's go here to brush settings and i want to show you what is actually hardness so let's make the hardness zero for now and when we start drawing what do we see we see that our image disappeared the image that the goal the, the goal disappeared but the edges are very soft but if we press here and make hardness 100 percent and as you can see our brush is different now so this is our brush with 100 percent hardness this is our brush with zero percent hardness so if i start drawing now as you can see the edges are not soft so this is the difference between having a 100 percent hardness brush and zero hardness brush you can also change them if you let's say you want to change hardness or size and uh, you don't want to go here every time you want to do it you can just press right click of, of the mouse and you can see here hardness and size appear so you can do it from here as well there are actually a lot of different hotkeys in photoshop so you can do one thing in uh, three different ways so yeah so in order to know these hotkeys you just have to work or you can just go to google and search but i'm gonna tell you all the most important ones and the ones that we are going to use here so again if you got any questions or you don't understand anything just let me know and i will help you i will have a skype video calling with you and i will reply to you okay and that's it for our brushes and mask i really hope you understand how this works because this is really really important this is like the base thing we need to know in order to work properly in photoshop